drink a little too much But I don't wanna feel how I felt before Running back to you, I'm running back to you And I don't wanna feel how I felt before Running back to you, I'm running back to you a too much. Welcome back to my channel So today we're gonna be working with Leap and Hair They was kind enough to send this wig over to me This is actually one of my favorite wigs I've ever reviewed And you're gonna see why this is a synthetic wig. As you see, it's an ombre wig. It has really good parting space. The lace is actually transparent, which you really don't get on a synthetic lace wig. None of the ones that I really had. Um, the inside is very breathable. I love the way they did this cap. It's very like comfortable on your head. And as I'm doing this voiceover about six, seven hours later, I still have the wig on my head. So you know I really, really, really like this wig for sure. So, and this wig is super affordable. I believe it's $32.46, somewhere along that line basically $33 so yeah I'm just showing you guys the colors how it looks on the mannequin and this is all the different colors they have on the side they have like a pink a Billie Eilish green a brown I got the blonde one obviously I used to actually have my hair like this back a couple years ago um, my natural hair actually and that's why I got so fried but we can just use a wig for that instead of messing up our natural hair so anyways i'm combing through the hair right now only thing i did find i found like one tiny little loose track in there so you can obviously just sew that back on it wasn't coming off but it was like a little bit of a gap but other than that everything else was fine i did get a tiny bit of tangling along the ends of the hair i didn't want to mess up the curls because i was going to actually do waves on this but i didn't even have to do anything to it straight off the box i was really shocked about that this quality really surprised me i was like this is what they could do with synthetic wigs that's really surprising to me like and i'm a big person i'm a big person i'm a big hair person or whatever and you know yeah if you hear a noise that's me combing the wig right now <laughs> but anyway um yes i'm just showing you that so now it's time for me to put the wig on i already braided my hair down into braids and i put the stocking cap on that my little mannequin had on because i didn't want to waste the stocking cap they sent me stocking caps but it was like a brown color i need to like you know really light so that it would show through the transparent lace. So yeah, I just did that, put the wig on. See how I was feeling it or whatever and proceeded to fix it up. So basically the first step you're gonna do is cut the lace. So I'm just really putting it where I need it to be. I'm gonna cut it in the middle and then I'm gonna, yeah, just cut it in half, one side and then one side. Here I go attempting to use my own baby hairs. I like to use my own baby hairs because it's easier for me to work with them. Um, so yeah, you'll see that I did that, but it didn't actually work out. I ended up using the baby hairs from the wig that I actually made and it worked out a lot better, which I was surprised about because usually baby hairs on the wig doesn't work out for me, but this time it kind of did. I can't do baby hair to save my life, but as you guys know, I say this multiple times, but yeah, so that's me trying to do that. I'm super red in the forehead right now, and I'm just adjusting the wig to my hairline. So now I'm just showing you guys the parting space. This had quite a bit of parting space. It wasn't just like along that little center part or side part. I could actually flip the part over a little bit more if I plucked it or whatever. So yeah, I was kind of surprised about that. I was like, and the part was really deep. Like it goes back pretty deep and it didn't have no flyaways. That's like the most shocking thing to me, no flyaways. I get human hair wigs and they be having flyaways like crazy. So I don't know. Now I'm plucking the part right here. Um, I did pluck a little bit too much in the front area, um, but you don't really notice that. I know it because I did it, but other than that, yeah, just be careful when you're plucking, don't pluck too much. I wasn't even gonna pluck this, but the parting was a bit skinny for me. I could have even part plucked a little bit more, but I did not. So yeah, just pluck, pluck, pluck until you, you know, get the right space that you want.
So this wig is 14 inches, it's an ombre color. I don't know if you would call that 613 blonde or would you call that like 227, but all the specs will be down below as well as on the website that I got that I showed you guys for Amazon. So the hair once again is Leave-In Hair Company, L-E-E-V-E-N. Uh, this is the first time I ever worked with them and they were super polite when, you know, telling me about the wig and everything like that. So yeah, this is me using the baby hairs from the wig. Okay, hey, I'm back. So this is what I'm giving you guys. I'm getting like real Beyonce survivor type mode just because I have this little t-shirt dress on from Shein, of course. Um, not sponsored. <laughs> Parting space. You might see like a line of demarcation. That's because my cap, I had to cut the band off or whatever. I put a little makeup in the part. This is my baby hairs mixed with the um, wig baby hairs. If you want, you can lay this part down, obviously. This is how the wig is looking. We'll say that I do love this wig a lot. Um, my hair used to be like this before with the dark roots and the blonde hair, but more so honey blonde. It would look better if my eyebrows wasn't so dark and you know, other things, but I think it looks cute for the most part. So this is how it looks. Look at how effortless my hands slide through this and this is synthetic. Like I did get a tiny bit of shedding. Obviously I was plucking the part and things like that, but I did get some shedding. The ends got a tiny bit tangly, but other than that, I think this is a really good way. Like this is straight out the box. I didn't do these curls. These curls came like this, and I was really, like when I took this wig out the box, the quality really shocked me. I was like, this is the best synthetic wig I ever had, to be honest. I'm keeping this here. I usually give these to my aunt. The blonde may not look right on me to you guys. I did used to have my hair like this. I don't know why my ring light looks so dark, but yeah. That's how we're looking. This is the wig. Like I said, I mixed my baby hairs with, um, with the wig baby hairs that I made. Can't make baby hairs save my life, but it's the best I could do. That's the knots and everything like that. This is the hair texture up close. Um, like I said, when I was combing at the ends, did it get a little bit, see I got a shed right here. Get a little bit tangly, but this would be a perfect wig for like going on a date or going to, I wouldn't say to work, but going on a date, going to the club. My sister would love this wig to go to the club, but she's not gonna have it because I'm keeping it. Okay, that's how we looking. So this is the wig. Um, and it's full form, so hopefully you guys can see it. That's how we're looking. This is the curls, like I told you. And I feel like it gives you like that asymmetrical type look. One side is longer than the other side. So yeah, that's the parting space. From far, it looks really, really good. Like look at the, how the part in the baby hair looks. Tell me this don't look, this don't, do not look synthetic to me. Like do it. I know it got a bit of a shine, but to me, it looks really good. I love these waves. I was gonna actually do waves in the hair. I knew when it was coming, I thought it was gonna be like more straighter, but I was like, oh, I don't gotta do nothing to this hair. Like, seriously. So yeah, I'm really liking this hair. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really, this is like, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's the best synthetic wig I ever got, honestly. I didn't even know synthetic could be like this, to be honest. I can't get over how, if you see my brush, I gotta clean it out, so don't mind that. <laughs> But yeah, it looks really good to me. You know, if I had makeup on, I don't wear makeup, but you know, it look a lot better. So if you guys wear makeup and you put this wig on, mm -hmm, I'm gonna be look cute, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much the video. I believe it's called Levon a Leave-In. I said in the beginning of the video, it's from Amazon. I put the price down below. I just can't run, stop running my fingers through. You see, it's not even getting frizzy. Like, look at this. Yeah, this is a testament. Like, if y'all gonna get a synthetic wig, I would definitely highly, highly, highly recommend this one. So that's how it looked. And it did not even have, do you see a flyaway? Tell me if you see a flyaway. I didn't even have to like put no hairspray. I just put a little got to be just to like try to lay it down a bit, but I really didn't lay it down. But yeah, that's how I really, really <laughs> like this wig. I'm like super obsessed. So hopefully I could bring you guys some more wigs from this company. Cause this is really, really bomb. Like, look at this. People pay a lot of money at salon to get their hair like the ombre blended like this. And this comes in a synthetic wig pre-colored for you already. Like, and I did the little tuck behind the ear thing. Thank you so much for watching. All the stuff will be down below. If you have any questions about the wig, any further questions, I'll answer you in the comments. See you next time. Bye.